hello youtube welcome to my channel today i will show you how to download and install microsoft sql server 2014 that is we need to download microsoft sql server database engine and microsoft sql server management studio so let us begin our work first of all go to the web browser and search microsoft sql server 2014 So, the first one of the source result is our official website of Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express Edition. So, click on the link. And this is the official website of the Microsoft. So, scroll down the page. And here you will find the Microsoft SQL Server 2014 download button. So, before download, be sure that your computer fulfills all the basic requirement to install Microsoft SQL Server 2014 that is you can find some of the tips here some basic requirement here you can read this one and then select the desired language and click on download so based on the operating system you need to download the set of file that is if your operating system is of 32 bit then you need to download the 32 bit file and if your operating system is of 64 bit then you need to download the 64 bit file so you can find the bit of operating system um, by this way right click on the computer then after go to properties and your system type you find 64 bit operating system my operating system is of 64 bit so i will download the 64 bit file you can find here express 32 bit is for 32 bit operating system and express 64 bit is for my computer that is of 64 bit and management studio also 64 bit i need to download i need to download these two files then after click on next so the download will start in a few moment and the download file appear here and start download for both file and it takes some time to download the file just we have to wait for it and download is completed now we can find the downloaded file in the download folder go to the download folder and in programs here are the two files which i have downloaded so first of all we need to install the sql server database engine at first so database engine is the service for storing processing and securing the data so first of all we need to install the express database engine so double click on it and then after click on yes so it will extract the file let me extract in the default location it will take some time to extract the file And the extraction process is completed here. You should not have to click on the set of file. It will start automatically. Just wait for a moment. Now, this is the installation center of SQL Server 2014 database engine. From here, we can perform standalone installation of SQL Server and we can add any additional features to install instance of SQL Server since this is the first or this is the new installation so click on the new SQL Server standalone installation then after this is the license agreement that we have to follow or that we have to accept to use this SQL Server so accept the license agreement so this is the optional so no need to check the second one then after click on next it will check for a moment and it will scan for the update just wait for it 
the setup the pass and these are the instance features that we are going to install in our computer that is database engine service and SQL server application SQL client connectivity SDK and here instance root directory means the directory where the Microsoft SQL server is going to be installed I will not change the directory let it be then after click on next then after since this is my first installation of Microsoft SQL Server 2014 in my computer I use the default instance uh, if there are if I have installed Microsoft SQL Server previously also so those instance will arrive here and the instance name instance ID will be displayed here then after by clicking on the by clicking on the default instance click on next then after your Microsoft recommends that you use a separate account for each SQL service, SQL server service so I'll use different account name for SQL server database engine so click on the down arrow then after click on browse then after click on advance and click on find now here are different user so I'll select a one user that is I'll select the local service you can select the local service and then after you have to click on ok and click on ok again so now this account name is selected here and this collision collision sets the default character set sort order and case sensitivity for the instance so no need to change let it have the default setting then after click on next and there are two authentication mode in Microsoft SQL Server that is Windows Authentication and Mixed Mode Authentication that is SQL Server Authentication I will be using Mixed Mode Authentication where we can use Windows Authentication as well as SQL Server Authentication so the username will be SA and we have to enter the password then after click on next so the installation is in progress now it may take up to 10 to 15 minutes depending on the depending on how the computer process so we have to wait for it so by this the installation of Microsoft SQL Server database engine is completed we have successfully installed the database engine so click on close then click on close for this also and now we need to install the SQL Server Management Studio so double click on Management Studio now click on yes so we have to extract the file and now I will extract the file in the path that is provided by default then after click on ok so it may take some time to extract the file so the extraction is completed here and it will start automatically to install the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio so now click on new SQL Server standalone installation so it will check for the product update just wait for it so now we are going to add features to the existing instance of SQL Server so click on next by selecting this one so we are going to use we are going to install management studio so we have to select this one and we can install all these also this may be useful for the future but 
the main th theme of installing the management studio is to select the management tool basic that is management tool then I click on next so the installation is in progress now it may take about 5 to 10 minutes to install so we have to wait for it So by this we have successfully installed SQL Server Management Studio also. So let me close this and now I will show you by creating a database in Microsoft SQL Server. So click on start then after search Management Studio. So it arrives here then after click on it. Means this is the first time and it may take some time to open now at first I will use the windows authentication mode select one and I will use windows authentication mode then I will click on connect and by this we are able to connect to the SQL server and let me create a database I click on the database let me click on new database then provide the name of the database for example TSC test DB then click on ok so our database test DB has been created over here so let me disconnect it and close this and open with SQL Server authentication mode. For that, go to start and search management studio again. Then, after use SQL Server authentication, login user will be SA and password will be the password that you entered in the earlier time. Then, after click on connect. So we have successfully logged in with Mixmot authentication also. So this is the database that we have created earlier. So by this we are able to install Microsoft SQL Server 2014 in our computer. So thanks for watching. Please like the video and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.